Beer tubers, how y'all doing? Tonight I'm gonna be blogging about a beer which is the predecessor to one of my favorite beers, which is the Oak Aged Yeti by Great Divide Brewing. And that is gonna be the Yeti, which is an Imperial Stout 9.5% ABV. Um, I very, very much enjoyed the Oak Aged Yeti. It was awesome. So far to my knowledge, I know Great Divide, uh, which is a brewery in Colorado. They have really awesome breweries in Colorado. But uh, yeah, uh, it was, what they did is they used American hops. So you'll have some bitterness in this, opposing to some sometimes uh, uh, like caramelly, sweet kind of thing. I, I, although this may have it, uh, it'll definitely have some bitter tinges to it. So uh, without a further ado, let me go ahead and open this. Uh, here we go. All right, some smoke. Yeah, I smell more bitterness than uh, sweet caramel chocolate kind of thing so far. Uh, by the way, I'm really, really glad that they changed their label. This is just, I don't know, I just it's uncalled for. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, man. Uh, like this just looks like a bad '70s comic kind of uh, label. The the labels now look awesome. It's very, it, it just has its own character to it. It's cool. Mm. I didn't chill this too much, just so I'll be able to, you know, really taste this thing immediately. Um, the color, very dark head, um, uh, definitely like uh, darker than a milk chocolate color head to it. Very dark, you cannot see through it at all, which is good for me, because I like these kind of beers a lot. Man. You know how I said that there would be bitterness and maybe not much chocolate? Chocolate. There's plenty of chocolate in this. But dark chocolate though, for sure. It's, it has a dark chocolate kind of smell. Like if you're just, but it's sweet though, so it's like if you're to get, not to be all specific, but get like a 60 or 70% cocoa dark chocolate. Sweet, um, molasses. Let me just shut up and drink this beer, alright? Come by. Mmm. Whoa. Wow. You know what? This is... <laughs> I know I, had, I just had one sip, but this is so good. I'm, I've become a big fan of Great Divide Brewing now. This is very, very good. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm just like all focused on this. I know you guys are watching and I'm like, but uh, let, let me keep drinking this. It's like chocolatey sweet. Um, it does have the hops. Like I, I, I could taste the roasted, the roasted malts, the roasted uh, grains, and the, uh, the the bitterness. Sure enough, uh, which is more prevalent, opposing to some other imperial stouts. Uh, which may focus more on sweetness and syrupiness, but um, that this is where it's really like dark chocolate. Uh, the fact that there is sweetness, but it has some bitterness to it. It's so complex. There's so many layers in this. Um, I just almost want to drink this room temperature to see how different it is. Um, if you've seen my Oak Age Yeti uh, blog, um, that thing. Although I don't think I mentioned it, but the Oak Age Yeti. It took me on a journey, and it just had five different levels of flavors. I, each time, when it was cold, when it was, when it was just was just chill, room temperature, and warm, uh, it just all had different flavors. I know I just said four things, but it, it just had different flavors. It changed each time. You taste more vanilla one time. When it was uh, warm, it was you taste more oak. It is so complex and very balanced and good. Uh, but anyways. Uh, the the regular Yeti is definitely different. It stands out uh, from the Oak Age. I know they have a uh, an espresso version and I think another version as well, uh, the Yeti series. And um, but you know what? The base of it is this, and it is very good. It makes sense why the Oak Age Yeti is awesome. I mean beyond awesome. It, it is so good. Mm. 
It is so tasty. Um, now, if some of you don't like booziness, you might be like, you might notice the booty, boot, bootiness. <laughs> There's no hip hop video now. Um, uh, you 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 may notice the booziness more, but I'm someone that don't mind it. You know, obviously I I do whiskey uh, blogs as well. I, I like drinking whis good Scotch whiskeys, um, but. Uh, Still, I mean, even if you're sensitive to booziness, it's not that noticeable. For 9.5% and it being an imperial stout, it's not that noticeable, really. Yeah, it's just an all-around awesome beer. I highly recommend it if you like big beers or if you want to venture out. You really should get the Yeti. Um, and if you did, get the Oak Age. It's... Amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's on my top five, so that's why I say that. But anyways, this is so interesting. It's sweet. It's really good. I'm going to go upstairs and show my roommate this because this is like, he needs to drink this. So anyways, this was the Yeti by Great Divide. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer vlog. Come fight.